honor, praise, power, majesty, dominion be ascribed unto you, Lamb of God. May the eyes that behold you this morning be eternally be transformed, O oh God, in your presence. May everyone that makes the journey to the place of the ascended realm of your voice be forever illuminated, be forever imparted, be forever transformed. Blessed are those who have set their hearts on a pilgrimage. Lord, we honor you this morning. We praise you from the rising of the sun till the going down of the same. May your name be praised. May your name be exalted. May your name be enthroned upon the hearts of men across the nations. King of glory this morning. We declare who you are once again, what you are to us. You are our light. You are our lawgiver. You are our strength, our hope, our eternal rock of all ages. What a beautiful day to be alive again. What a day to be alive in your presence. What a day to acknowledge that you are our father. The word says we must pray our Father who is in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is already established in heaven. You said we must ask, give us this day our daily bread. <clears throat> and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass, who sin against us. He said, we must pray, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From the evil one. From the one that wants us to miss the mark. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Not for some days, not for some week. Not for some month, not for some decade, not just for some centuries, but forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Eternal life belongs to you. Eternal life comes from you. The world you create, you create them to live in the realm of eternity. Oh, Father, this morning, we come before you laying down our fears and doubts, weaknesses, our discouragement, our perplexity. We lay them all down this morning as we come to behold you. As the Maggies travel to come to behold you in the manger. But they didn't come empty-handed. They say only the wise will take a journey to seek you. The things of your spirit has always been related, connected to transition, journeying, living one realm to another. Wise men left their country, traveled three months, to connect with you in the manger. We know something new is being born in our day. And we that have been granted the grace of wisdom. We are living the former realm. We are living that which we are accustomed to. We are living the position that we have, yes, attained in terms of wealth, prosperity. Whatever it is that we have achieved in the former, we are leaving them behind because something, a new thing is happening within our day and we are journeying to that place. 
as the wise men left their place, as the shepherd left their ship to hear and to see this new thing, this, this impartation that is about to take place within the space of men. Father, this morning, we also, in the spirit, yes, of migration, we live behind yesterday and we focus as you show us that which you are doing in this new day. But Lord, we do not just come presuming and assuming. We come via the new order of the priesthood. We come via the new way, yes, into the holy place. We come recognizing, oh God, that we have to undress our mindset, our belief system from the order of yesterday. We come acknowledging that Christ, you are our king. That Christ, you are the one leading us through your spirit. This morning, Father, we come via the blood. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Jesus, our king, our Lord our savior we come through the direction and the instructions of your, the voice of your spirit holy one we take our place this morning in the journey we join the procession of them who have set their heart before you holy spirit we come knowing this morning that when we take this journey to the place of your good pleasure we will be renewed and we will be counted among them who have ascended. For this is the time that you are calling the, yes, the, the, the ascended ones. These are the days where you are summoning men once again to gather on a new pedestal. To come to the new place of your speakings. And so Father, this morning, as we continue to yield ourselves. And see to the perfection of holiness. Because indeed without holiness no one will see you. Holiness is not just a virtue. It's the aura of who you are. It's not just an act. It is the very life that defines your presence. So we come this morning. Because Christ himself has made us holy. He is the one, yes, who has gone via yes the blood through the veil he's broken through he's entered the holies of holy and he has invited us he's called us in fact he had carried us into the most holy place and so this morning we come to share in the life of the heavenly order we've come to yes share and reflect yes our original essence our true image which is the image of God himself. Let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness. We thank you this morning, O oh God, that that image and likeness is becoming more real, is becoming more grand, is becoming more, yes, pronounced as we daily journey to us the place of your good pleasure. We are not alone. In this journey, we are not alone. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses cheering us up not to give up, not to give in, not to be distracted. Lord, as you led them by the pillar of cloud by day to give them light, to give them direction. You also led them by the pillar of, of, of fire by, by night, O oh God, so they can keep the journey even in the most darkest seasons of their life. Father, this morning, we embrace we embrace the directions and the instructions of your dealings in our life. We open up the doors of our heart once again. Lead us. You are the one, Holy Spirit, who has come to lead us. The word says that when you, the Holy Spirit, come, you will lead us into all truth. Thank you for truth that you have brought us into and truth that you are yet to bring us into. This morning, once again, as a company of them that has been summoned to the pilgrimage of the Holy Order of your Spirit, Lord, we take our journey. We travel light this morning. We shed off this morning every weight and sin that can easily beset us in this journey. We lay aside the burdens of yesterday, the disappointment of yesterday. 
we lay aside the opinions of men yes of yesterday we declare this morning that we guard ourselves we prepare our journey and we continue lord in the in the traveling until we behold you in the place of your good pleasure may we not be distracted this morning may we not let the applause of men and the disqualification of men the opinions of men may we not allow yes <clears throat> the neediness of yesterday to hinder us from pressing into your demand for today may we not allow yes how babylon has sought to program our mind and confuse us of the things of your spirit may we not allow yes the wrong values of the traditions of men that we have imbibed and that we have termed christianity to stop us from this holy order from this call may we not oh god be left behind as we hear the sound of breaking forth into a new day thank you spirit of the lord that your will this morning will find once again inroad and expression in our life that our spirit yes will be quickened as we hear the voice of your son jesus christ yes as the voice of Christ was spoken while he was still in his mother's womb ah, John the Baptist was able to hear and he responded ah, may we respond this morning as we hear the voice that men cannot hear as we hear the sound that men are not hearing as we feel yes the breeze of your spirit blowing may we know that the tides have changed may we know that the days have changed Lord, may we undress ourselves. May we reposition ourselves this morning. May we, oh God, yes, prepare ourselves as we take this journey once again. We declare that we are not going back to the old. This is one thing we do. One thing alone. We press to us. Yes. The reason, the season of your summoning. We continue, oh God. Yes, Father. To set our heart on heavenly things where our treasure is. You say, where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. Lord, we proclaim this morning that our treasure, yes, is in the heaven. And heaven is not some distant place, heaven is in our heart. Heaven is the place where God lives, where Christ lives. Is the place of your throne. Heaven is the place of your dominion. Heaven is the place of your power. Is a place where, yes, your government flows out of Zion. Beauty has been perfected. We come in this morning to the place of perfected beauty. We come in this morning to the place of perfected beauty. To the place of glory. To the place, yes, where men are dumbfounded with the expressions of the light beaming out of your house. Holy Spirit, lead us this morning. Teach us your ways, the ways of the heavenly life. Help us to partake, yes, of the heavenly meal. Ah, your word says they ate of the heavenly meal, yet they doubted, yet they disbelieved, yet they refused. To acclimatize, to adjust to the new order. Oh, Father, purge us from every nature of Egypt that is still in us. Purge us from the spirit of doubt. Purge us this morning from the spirit of the fear of men, the fear of Pharaoh. Ah, the fear of Pharaoh hindered the people from journeying on. They were afraid. Even when you said, Go forward. Lord, this morning we declare in the name of Jesus. That Lord, every identity of Egypt, every identity of, yes, the fallen kind of human nature that is still locking within our inner life, within our inner system. We ask, oh God, this morning that you will purge us from those things. You will help us once again to see who we are in you. To know that your voice redefines who we are. To know that your voice, your word, yes, redefines who we are. Help us to know that the fact that we have been in slavery does not mean that we are slaves. Help us to know that we are originally created and made in your image and likeness. 
the 430 years in the land of bondage in the land of slavery will not change yes our identity spirit of god i pray this morning that we will be awakening our inner man realizing who we are realizing yes what you have done in us and what you are doing in us this morning help us father not to be captured by the lies of the enemy as we shed off as we break away as we move away from the old life we embrace the new life life is daily refreshed in your presence it's a brand new day a brand new life a brand new opportunity a brand new identity build us this morning that our life may reflect oh god the glory of your name i pray this morning oh god that we will not miss we will not miss the impact we will not miss the declaration we will not miss oh god your desire we will not miss oh god your intentions for our life i pray this morning that your spirit will continue to well up in our heart that your spirit will continue to well up in our minds that we will indeed reflect almighty god a divine intuition we will hear and we will know and we will know how to respond oh god yes to this summoning to this new height to this new place oh god where we can clearly and where we can clearly hear yes your voice your speakings oh god in order to know what to do we imbibe the nature of the sons of Issachar we imbibe the attitude of the sons of Issachar who knew the times who knew the times and the season It takes more than just reading the Bible to know the times and the season. It takes an acute walking with the Lord on a day-to-day -day basis to know that, yes, a time and a season has changed. And to know what the time and the season means and implies to, yes, the activities of men. Holy Spirit, we pray this morning. We want to be like the sons of Issachar. That wherever we go, we can perceive the nature of the day. And so we know how to act. We know how to behave. We know how to speak. Or either to restrain our voice. Help us this morning. Help us not just to pray a prayer of them that are immature. We have come to a new day, yes, of divine interaction. We have come to a new day of divine posture. Yes, we declare that we have come to a new height in the spirit that is called a day of maturity where we are no longer children. Children will play, pray like children. Yes, children will pray like children. But adults will pray like those, yes, who are responsible. Who, yes, who understand the concept of representation. Who, who know what it means, yes, to be positioned in a place of accountability help us touch our lips as you continue to touch our eyes lord that we will not just pray the needs around us we will pray oh god yes the need of heaven that you desire to see manifest yes within our space we pray in the name of Jesus this morning, oh God, that our prayer, oh God, yes, will be seasoned with salt. That our prayer, oh God, yes, will be mature, will come from the bowel, oh God, yes, of men and women that you have truly, yes, prepared and you have released to be priest representing your order and your intentions for this glorious day. We pray, oh God, that our prayer will become indeed a fragrance of life, oh God, a fragrance of hope, a fragrance of faith that our prayer oh god we change the atmosphere that our prayer yes lord will regulate the realm that our prayer this morning our intercession this morning oh god will intercept every counsel of evil every works of darkness that our prayer in the name of jesus will penetrate deep into the very recess of the hearts of men called to lead that our prayer oh god will not be one done in the flesh that our prayer will not be one done like an immature uh, uh, baby. Uh, like our prayer will not be one, oh God, that is ever seeking for just the sweets. You know, when you take a child out or to the you know to, to you know to the market, to the mall, all they want is chocolate, all they want is sweet, or all they want is a toy. 
I want this. I want that. When you look at those things, those things re- that they want reflect where they are. <clears throat> they have no sense of responsibility. They have no sense of uh, that money must be used, yes, with value to change. To Money must be used, yes, to establish value, to change, to transform. The same money that you use to build things for the kingdom, you can use it just to buy things to eat and, you know, shit it out in the toilet. Pass it out somewhere. A new day is upon us. A day where we have to think of what we are asking for. Ask of me the nations, the Lord says. Ask of me and I will give to you the nations for your inheritance. The uttermost part of the earth for your possessions. Ask of me and I will give to you the nations. Friends, it takes a new order of a priestly life to ask for the nations. To ask for a place devastated like Ukraine. To ask, oh God, for places devastated like like Syria. To ask for places devastated like Libya. It takes, it takes, it takes a people with a different order of life and faith, yes. To go into places like Zimbabwe and proclaim a change. Ask of me the nations. It takes a people of faith. It takes a people with a priestly order, governmental strength to come to a place like South Africa. And don't just see cheap opportunity. But yes, to see what needs to be fixed and what needs to be changed. It takes a depth of insight. It takes a depth of insight to go to a place like Egypt and begin to declare the fall of Pharaoh. Friends, it's going to take a new order of kingdom priestly men and women to go into America and not just see the so-called uh, uh, land of opportunity but to see the the, the the capacity to bring a change to a people who desperately needs it it all has to do with what we see how we see some people want to come to places and all they see is opportunity to go and scrape the people to go and skin the people but they cannot see the carnage they can't see the destruction. They can't see the wickedness and the perversion. They can't see how Jezebel has sat upon the lives of the people. They can't see it. They can't engage with the principality. All they want is to build another small church. All they want is to build another little business. All they want is money. When we have such mindset, we cannot take the nations for God. Ask of me and I will give you the nations. Lord, this morning we ask of you. We ask of you, South Africa. We ask of you, yes, Zimbabwe. We ask of you, Malawi. We ask of you this morning. Egypt, we ask of you. The Philippines, we ask of you this morning. Oh God, yes. Syria, we ask of you. Ukraine, we ask of you. Yes, Lord. Argentina, we ask of you. Russia. We ask of you North Korea. We ask of you Mongolia. We ask of you China. We ask of you this morning, oh God. Yes. Iceland, oh God, we ask of you. Yes, Ireland, we ask of you. Sweden, we ask of you. France, we ask of you this morning. Thailand, we ask of you in the name of Jesus. Netherlands, we ask of you in the name of Jesus, Father. America every part of america we ask of you we ask of you from washington oh god yes to new york in the name of jesus we declare that the earth is the lord we declare this morning the glory of the knowledge of our god is covering these nations these realms we ask of you ghana we ask of you in the name of jesus central africa we ask of you in the name of jesus ivory coast Benin republic we ask of you cameroon we ask of you in the name of jesus oh, Rabasianda. all the realms oh god of the sahara region we ask of you we ask of you of ninja we ask of you in the name of jesus we ask of you chad 
in the name of Jesus. We ask of you in the name of Jesus, Nigeria. We ask, oh God, that your kingdom, Lord, once again, will be manifest. Friends, is our prayer that makes things happen. Is our prayer that shifts, that changes things. Yes, the hearts of the kings are in the hand of the Lord. He turns it. The Lord turns the hearts of kings with the prayer of the saints. Friends, this morning, your prayer is needed, is important. The well that releases our prayer culture must be a well that is mature, that is well dug, that is deep, that has clean water. <clears throat> Spirit of the Lord, grant us this morning the nations. Grant us this morning the nations as we take our journey to the place of your good pleasure. As we take our journey this morning to the place of your good pleasure we ask of you for the nations give us the nations help us this morning to administrate your prophetic intention help us this morning yes lord to proclaim and to declare your will and counsel yes in every area yes that the enemy has continued to thrive and reign we declare them this morning the throne we bind the hearts of the nations to your will. We bind the soul of the nations to your counsel this morning. We lose the activity of the enemy over America. We lose the activity, the, the ungodly satanic inf influence of the enemy over the realm of America. We lose it this morning. We deliver the people. We declare, lose them and let them go. Let the people come to a new height where freedom, liberty, the liberty of the spirit, not the liberty of flesh. Not the liberty of man, not the liberty of human philosophy, but the liberty of the spirit. The Bible says, and the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is giving access, there is liberty. We ask of you this morning that the spirit of liberty liberty will flow into the realm, into the, into the nation, into the cities, oh God. Of our continents. <coughs> we pray this morning. Have your way, Lamb of God. Come, take your place, King of Glory. It is your kingdom that we desire this morning. It is your kingdom that we desire to see this morning. It is your kingdom that we desire, oh God, to be part of this morning. We seek your kingdom. We seek your kingdom. We seek your kingdom. We seek the establishment, oh God, of your desire, of your intentions. Holy Spirit, <clears throat> help us to pray. Help us to pray. Help us to pray your mind. Help us to pray your will. Help us to pray your intention. Indeed, indeed, your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Help us to align to your ways and to your thoughts this morning as we execute the judgment that is written. We proclaim this is the day of righteousness. This is the day of divine, yes, awakening and, and, and alignment to your prophetic mandate. We declare hearts have been awakened to truth this morning. Yes, men and women are rejecting in the name of Jesus. Yes, the ways of Babylon, the ways of compromise. Righteousness is flowing like a river into our city, into our nations. We proclaim this morning that our governments are, are aligning to the authority of your kingdom. Yes, Father, we declare in Jesus' name that the hardening of the heart the rebellion of the heart will no longer yes be found among our leaders in the name of Jesus the heart of men will cry to you the heart of the nations will cry to you yes the days are coming where hands are being stretched to you in 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 in, in seeking for help in the name of Jesus we declare this morning that we break away from the pride from the arrogance of the nations this is the day where you are humbling the pride of men this is the day that you are, yes, weakening the strength of man. You are bringing the strength of men to naught. It's a day of your power. And in this day of your power, your people shall be willing. Help us to be willing. Help us to be a priest, O oh God, who are drawing nearer to you. Help us, O oh God, to understand the dynamics and the objective, O oh God, of your intentions as we pray in the name of Jesus this morning. Help us to understand, help us to realize, O oh God, that these are days of your spirit. Give us grace, give us wisdom. Help us, O oh God, to be fully aligned 
to the prophetic counsel of your intention for this glorious day. <clears throat> Spirit of the Lord, we honor you. As we pray for the nations, we see a cry. We see hands being stretched to you. We see men and women stretching their hands to you, calling upon you, Lamb of God. We thank you this morning. Oh, we praise your name this morning. We give you glory because we know no power, no man can do this. No power, no spirit can do this except you. And that's why we look up to you. We trust in you. We wait on you. We depend on you. We hope in you. We walk in you this morning to see to the fulfillment of your desire. Come Lord Jesus. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. It's not in the man to direct his own path. <clears throat> it is not in the man to guide, to, to, to instruct his own ways. Oh God, we want to walk in your way this morning. Instruct us, direct us, lead us, guide us, teach us how to walk in your way. How to walk in your will. How to make your will our home. How to make your desire our desire. How to make your, 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 your longing our longing, oh God. Help us this morning, Holy Spirit. Grant us strength. Oh, hallelujah. Jeremiah 10, 23 says, I know, oh Lord, that a man's way is not in his own. <clears throat> a man's way is not his own. My way is not, it's not mine. It's not mine. My way is to live for God. So this morning, Lord, we imbibe your way, your will. And that's why we pray, may your kingdom come. May your kingdom come into our life. May your kingdom come into our minds. May your kingdom come into our thoughts. May your kingdom come into, yes, Lord, our desire. May your kingdom be manifest in every aspect of yes of our representation may your kingdom come into our home into the life yes of our children may your kingdom come lord into yes our concept of living lifestyle may your kingdom be manifest yes lord in that which we represent oh god as a family may your kingdom come into our community may your kingdom come into yes the body the church of the living god may your kingdom come lord into the life of our yes our parents our mothers and fathers yes father may your kingdom come this day oh god father we pray into our nation may your kingdom come into our government fulfill oh god yes that which you have spoken that you will give us the nations if we ask we ask in the name of jesus this morning give us the nations oh god help us to live a life that glorifies your name in the name of jesus help us to live a life that honor you in the name of jesus help us to live a life that glorify you in the name of jesus help us to live a life this morning that honor you in our words in our deeds in our I pray in the name of Jesus help us to live a life oh God to, that honor you in everything that we do in our thoughts in our deeds in our actions oh God may our going out this morning bring honor and pleasure to your name may our coming in oh God bring honor and pleasure to your name we pray in the name of Jesus that we will continue to align our spirit oh God to your divine intention to your divine desire use us this morning once again to advance your kingdom in every area of our life in our workplace oh god yes father in our businesses oh god in our schools wherever we go help us oh god to remember that your will and purpose oh god is what bring pleasure unto you and so father this morning we align with your will we ask come take your place lead us oh god even as we ask for the nations move lord in your spirit and in your glory across the nations across the land oh father we declare this morning let the evil yes in the name of jesus yes be, 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 be cast away as your light comes may your light shine in the name of jesus may your light shine all across the land may your light shine all across the realm may your light shine upon this land upon this nation 
nation. May your light, O oh God, penetrate. Uh, yes, the seat of government of South Africa. In the name of Jesus, as we pray and proclaim before you that this, the nation of South Africa belongs to you. As we proclaim and declare that the nation of South Africa, yes, Lord, will fulfill a prophetic mandate. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, as you touch every department, every parastata, every system, oh God, that drives, oh God, yes, the, 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 the value of this nation. We declare, may your kingdom, Lord, be manifest. May your kingdom be manifest, oh God. Those, yes, position in the end of affairs, we proclare that they will honor you, they will serve you, they will live a life that honor you, that glorify you. We proclaim your truth and righteousness right now. In the name of Jesus, as we pray for South Africa, we pray in the name of Jesus for Mozambique. We pray, oh God, yes, for Botswana. We pray in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, for Zimbabwe. We pray in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, for Angola. We pray, oh God, for the entire Sadek region. We declare your righteousness, your truth, oh God, your glory, Lord, will prevail. In the name of Jesus, we declare, oh God, your kingdom, your authority, your government. In the name of Jesus, truth truth will prevail in the seat of power in the parliament truth is prevailing in the seat of power truth is prevailing in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit have your way once again take your place this morning yes it's not in the ways of our leaders to guide, to direct the path of the nations. Help them to imbibe your ways. As Jeremiah says, help them to imbibe your own way. Help them to know that their life is designed to carry out an intention, a plan and a purpose that will bring pleasure, that will bring glory and honor. Yes, to the, to the nations. So we pray this morning, oh God. Yes, the leaders across the land, oh God, will cry out to you will come down from their high horses. Lord will come down from their, yes, a house, of, a house of pride. They will imbibe, they will call upon you in humility. Father, you will, yes, once again, show them how to lead, how to guide, how to direct the people in the name of Jesus. We're getting to, in Africa, we're getting to that point and time of re-election again. All kinds of things we're hearing. Spirit of the Lord, we know that only you, Almighty God, yes, can turn the hearts of men to do what is right. And so we pray in the name of Jesus this morning, oh God. Yes, Father, let there be once again a holy awakening in the heart of men that will awaken them to truth, that they will not continue, yes, to, 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 to choose the wrong. They will, they will, the people will be awakened to know, yes, that their decision matters, that their vote counts, Almighty God that they will use their votes oh God to speak your heart to speak your intention to, to speak healing and transformation to the nations that they will not be captured by their present need that they will not allow the enemy yes to use the issues of their present need to lead them to make wrong decision father we pray this day let your light shine all across the continent of Africa, in every region that are preparing, yes, for our election for next year, we proclaim and we declare that your truth will awaken the people to do what is right. Give them the strength. Help them to see that what they need to do is for, yes, the, the, the future of their children. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you this morning that your counsel, your intention is being established, that your will is finding inroad this morning. In the name of Jesus, yes, Yes, Lord, from South Africa to Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, every region of the earth where, yes, election is being prepared for next year, we declare in the name of Jesus that your, your will, your counsel will prevail. In the name of Jesus, the time for change, yes, is now. And we, we infuse the spirit of positivity. We infuse the spirit, yes, where men will begin to pray and call upon you and seek, oh God, a change, yes, Father, from the position of leadership. 
let it flow like a river into every corner every area yes of community of society in the name of Jesus we declare this morning as a priest call yes uh, to, to, to be positioned on the wall we pray this morning come have your way in the name of Jesus that the destiny of our children will not be wasted the Lord we can do something about it we're doing we're doing something about it through the power of prayer we believe we believe that in through the power of intercession we can change things oh hallelujah we believe that through the power of intercession we can change things for intercession indeed is the vehicle of the spirit that transports hallelujah heaven's prophetic counsel every prophetic mandate heaven every redemptive counsel for nations we declare this morning that we deploy the spirit of intercession into realms and region oh god that the plans of the enemy will not prevail yes we know that the counsel yes the enemy is planning something once again to continue to rule in tyrannical leadership but we declare it shall not stand it will not prevail though they gather they will scatter we declare let men of righteousness rise uh, let women of grace and strength rise uh, in the name of Jesus we declare this morning oh God let there be in the name of Jesus an awakening we are not going to wait oh God for next year before we begin to pray for those yes people go varying for leadership or a position in government we begin right now start today now we begin to counter the counsel of darkness now we begin to yes frustrate the works of the enemy now we begin to push forth uh, the prophetic prophetic intentions of God uh, over the nations. Now we begin to establish uh, the kingdom of God over the destiny of Africa in the name of Jesus. They kept saying that Africa is the next economic hub, but they know what they're talking about. They want to do the same thing they've been doing. They come to Africa, take all they can take, and they go somewhere else. Yes, and 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 and, and manifest the wealth that they have plundered. But we say it shall no longer continue that way. We said this is the day and time where Africa, yes, must begin to rise up and take hold, yes, of their own destiny, of their own resource. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for mature men and women, and we are beginning to see them rise. Up. But we pray that more will rise up. Uh. We pray in the name of of Jesus that you will raise yes godly voices are uh, godly gates are uh, in every aspect oh God yes uh, of, 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 of the life of Africa in the name of Jesus uh, we proclaim from north to south from east to west uh, and Central Africa let oh God a, a crop of men and women with kingdom mindset uh, with kingdom vision with kingdom understanding begin to rise up and take their rightful place uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Lord we thank you for godly men we thank you for the spirit of the sire us, uh, that have been awakened uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you right now that indeed there is an establishment uh, of your prophetic counsel. That all the things that have been pro proclaimed and declared over Africa in terms of prophetic objective, uh, we take our place oh God, as watchmen, as intercessors uh, and begin to execute those things uh, in the spirit. We begin to declare it shall come to pass. Particularly the prophetic word of the Lord uh, over, over South Africa we declare in Jesus name that it shall come to pass. Uh, we refuse the carnage uh, and the weakness, wickedness and the destruction that we have seen be manifest. Uh, we refuse it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We push back uh, the satanic hand of, of, of darkness uh, over this nation. We push back uh, the works of evil in the name of Jesus. We say, let the seed of righteousness arise. Uh, we say, let the sons of righteousness arise. Uh, let the seed of righteousness arise. Uh, let the sons of righteousness arise. Uh, let the voice of God uh, be heard uh, in the name of Jesus uh, yes from the from the bowels of Soweto in the name of Jesus all the way to Kailisha in the name of Jesus all the way to the region oh God yes uh, of Utenega and Eastern Cape uh, oh God Mandelebo Shanda all the way to Nell Springer uh, in the name of Jesus to Mpumalanga we declare let the voice of righteousness be awakened in the name of Jesus uh, in the name of Jesus let the voice of righteousness be awakened uh, in count in the name of Jesus, let the voice of righteousness uh, be awakened, O oh God, among the whites and the blacks, the Indians, uh, in the name of Jesus, the colors, uh, wherever, yes, a people are, in the name of Jesus, let a company, yes, let the nation of God, the nation of God, and the people of God, bound by one purpose, uh, to see the kingdom of God manifest, let it arise. It's a brand new day. We proclaim it, we declare it, O oh God. We say we have moved away, O oh God. 
praying childish childlike prayer we are governmental people we are people of power we are people of power we are people giving authority we are people oh god yes that has been yes that has been called and commissioned to represent heaven's prophetic intention to represent the kingdom of god in the earth we are regents <laughs> we are ambassadors in the name of jesus oh rabashi and talababa we execute this morning the judgment that is written over south africa we proclaim truth prevails over this region righteousness prevails over this realm the counsel of god the will of god the mind of god the peace of god reign over south africa over our government Government over Syria Maposa, over every member of the parliament. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim, O oh God, that the justice system of God prevail over this land, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the judge, the judgment of God uh, prevail over this over this nation. Judgment means accurate understanding of things uh, and executing that which, yes, uh, is right. Uh, that is judgment. We declare the judgment of God over South Africa, the judgment of God uh, over. On Namibia, the judgment, Father, bring forth right judge, right judges. Remember, back in the days, friends, back in the days, priests are also judges. Samuel showed us, Hallelujah, how a priest can be a judge of a nation. Hallelujah. Samuel showed us that as a priest, Amen, he can be a judge. He can also be a prophet. Hallelujah. And then David took it even further. David was a judge. He was a king. Hallelujah. He was a priest. He was a prophet. Hallelujah. He was a shepherd. Father, we pray for this caliber of men and women. Deborah, hallelujah, was a judge and she was also a prophet. In the name of Jesus, give us, oh God, men and women. Yes, bring them from wherever they are. Align them to truth, oh God. We can see them. We can see many of them begin to shoot, oh God. Yes, like a seed that is planted. But Lord, we begin to pray and water those seed oh god in the name of jesus in the business world we pray for them lord we want to see many of them manifest oh god yes sir uh, in the field of politics uh, we want to see many of them walk oh god in the pl- in the place oh god of, of authority of leadership authority oh god in the parliament oh god we pray oh god for those in the parliament already standing oh god to 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 to, to defend truth and to defend righteousness over this nation yes lord we pray for them oh god like the ADC, ADCP party, we pray for them in the name of Christian Democratic Party. We pray for them, Lord. They may not be, yes, in, 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 in Pretoria, but where they are, yes, where they are, yes, they are they are lending their voice. Yes, I, I was watching a, 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 a clip not too long ago how this uh, um, Christian Democratic Party man was actually challenging, you know, the Department of Education that are bringing ungodly curriculum, are bringing ungodly you know uh, 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 you know values to our schools to to the you know to destroy the light i was watching this man speaking so passionately i said we need people we need more we need more we need more we need more of this kind of a man yes not politician who will be playing games in the life of the people but people who know what it means who know what it means for righteousness to reign in a nation because when righteousness reigns in our parliament it flows down to yes our various institutions it flows down to the to the schools amen yes it flows down to the institution when righteousness reigns in the nation guess what it will flow down yes to to escom we won't see the kind of pov- the, the kind of corruption that we are seeing in escom yes it's, it's not like there are no capacity capacity to transform escom you see there are there are wickedness in high places sitting to make sure that they circumvent any sense of progress you see when energy is not at the forefront of the development of a nation how can the nation pro, you know prosper the reason why people are traveling to all of these places overseas is because they know that amen there are certain things that are just there you can't wake up in the morning and there's no electricity. You can't wake up in the morning and then there is no internet. You can't wake up in the morning. You can't. No, the opportunities are there. They are there provided, yes, for people to thrive. That's what we're asking for. <clears throat> That's what we're asking for. And we pray, we will continue to pray that when righteousness reigns over a nation like South Africa, you see, government will work <laughs> because you have godly men there. Well, I was hearing on the news yesterday how one of the ANC guy was, in fact, one of the people that plot, you know, the, the, the assassination of, you know, of the daughter of one of the people 
you know, and, 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 and uh, the, you know, the, 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 the other political party, you know, where Julius Malema is leading. I mean, we see, we're hearing this thing, and you're asking yourself, has this thing got into this level? Where you know you, you you an innocent an innocent child will die because of political gain because of political gain this has to stop and listen government cannot stop it no amount of you know police you deploy can stop this thing we the church will have to rise up and say we refuse the spirit of 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 wickedness because that's wickedness it's not just you know murder that is wickedness for you to plot the death of the daughter of another comrade i mean that is that is deadly and that has to stop but it's not just in south africa alone we're seeing it happening yes all over all over africa why is it that our leaders so want to clinch to power to the point of killing themselves what is there all you want in that position of power is money that's all they want but we pray that their days are coming to an end in the name of jesus we will not fold our hands and watch the devil destroy the destiny of this nation. We will not fold our hands and watch the enemy destroy the prophetic in our counsel of God over South Africa. We refuse it in the name of Jesus. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. I declare in Jesus' name that as a watchman, I take my place on the wall. I will not give the Lord silent. Neither will I give myself silent until this nation fulfills a prophetic mandate. Until, hallelujah, this nation fulfills a prophetic prophetic yes mandate there is a prophetic mandate the way the way the natural man sees south africa is totally different from the way we spiritual people ought to see this nation and so amen it must be regarding every other nation the way a politician defines a nation is totally different from the way hallelujah the lord defines a nation hallelujah satatata by ham horobo kayanda I said the way politicians define a nation is totally different from the way, hallelujah, kingdom-minded people, not just church people, kingdom-minded people, hallelujah. And you know what I mean when I say church people? Church people, most of them are religious people, amen. They are just moved by religion because guess what? Between now and a few, uh, 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 few months now, you begin to see politicians go back to the church, conversing for, yes, for the support of church people. But if we have kingdom people in the church, we can stand up in the church and say, amen, to those leaders. Say, see how you have failed. See how God defines a nation. See what God says regarding the purpose and the destiny of a nation. See what God says regarding leadership. Have you met this standard? Have you met the standard? Amen. Or have you fall short? If you fall short, then we cannot, we, we can't converse for you. Amen. For, for a re-election. No. You see, our church leader needs to rise up. They need to speak. They need to begin to teach. That's what we're talking about. They need to, because listen, whatever God wants to do, he's going to do it through his own people. But if his own people are mute, <clears throat> God wanted to send Moses to go and confront, hallelujah, yes, Pharaoh. So that his people can be free. Moses was afraid. He said, I can't speak. Uh, many of our leaders, amen, are people who are like Moses. I'm afraid. Hey, uh, Zuma is coming to my church. Hey, sit them up. Ah. We will give them red carpet. And there's nothing wrong in giving them red carpet. Give them red carpet, but also give them, hallelujah, the word of the Lord. We will read the Bible. We know, hallelujah, that when a, when, when a king comes before a prophet, he's shaking in his boots. He's shaking. When Saul appeared before Samuel, he's afraid. What have I done again? Uh, are you getting it? But you see, when our desire is just about bread and butter, if all we are seeking for is just something to gain, excuse me, how many food can we eat? How many bedrooms can we live in? How many cars can we drive? How many aircraft amen, can we own? Because these are the things that you know that is causing us you know to be weakened we sell our bat right for the pot of pottage we sell our bat right just for some freebies so as the government give you you know a land somewhere they give you property somewhere okay you are able to you know uh, uh come into their into their crowd is that all you're looking for is that what don't you understand that uh, when you come to the lord particularly when you have been called of god that the things of this world no longer amen should move you no should no longer amen attract you amen the bible said we are in this world but we are not of this world amen imagine me 
all I'm thinking about is money. And one government official comes and throws me money. It becomes so easy for me to be captured. All right? Yes. It's easy to be captured. When, when the enemy knows that there's a need in your life that they can use to shut you, then you, your, 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 your purpose amen, has been shut change. You see, that was Saul's, uh, no, excuse me, that was Esau, amen, and, 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 and his brother Jacob. Esau could not, could not restrain, amen, his appetite, amen. He has no, he has no sense of, amen, uh, uh, constraint, amen. Yes, he, he, the power to say no, even when he feels like saying uh, uh, yes, is not there. He was hungry and he exchanged his bad right, amen, for just a soup. Jacob said, if you want this sweet, sweet this uh, 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 soup, all right, if you want this stew or whatever it is, it's food <laughs> for hunger, for hunger. Friends, I've gone through all kinds of things because of, you know, hunger. And the Lord has kept me. And I'm not trying to say I'm perfect. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, you know, you know, we've got this construction. Many of you know that it's taking place in my, my office. For almost a month now, it's the standstill. Nothing. Because the people that were working there, the, the, the man and the, and the son, were discovered to be dishonest people. They, they've been they've been they've been skimming me the, the son also took advantage of me and took the money so based on the value based on the principle of my life i told them stop i i, I, I you guys cannot continue you, you can leave you see there are things that we'll have to go through i mean it's been standing there for a month now i'm just saying this that when you walk with god the values and the principle that drives your life will make you do certain things that will cause you to go through a time of pain, a time of need, you see. And everyone we've been trying to, you know, get has been saying, oh, they can't come because, you know, it's winter. So people are trying to finish their project. So I say, let it wait. The Lord will provide. The Lord will bring his own. There are people that want to come and do the job, but uh, they, what they're asking for is just too much. Okay, so, so let it wait principle is what drives hallelujah our christianity our walk with god if you claim to be a, a, a christian but you have no you know principle that i establish in the in the word of god and when you when you have principle established in the word of god sometimes you see it's a two i just saw it will affect you it will impact you but when you want a life of ease <clears throat> it means that you have no principle and that's why people amen cannot fulfill you know their so-called purpose because nobody gets to fulfill their purpose or their you know prophetic uh, uh, calling in life without some form of amen imbibing and walking in values that will pinch them but see we want just we want it to be uh, all rosy all nice and uh, it's not going to work like that unfortunately it's not going to work like that you have to be determined you have to make up your mind that this is who you are and this is what you stand for are you going to compromise yes there will be times where we need to we need to you know compromise certain things but not at the expense of righteousness not at the expense of truth it's important that we understand that when we stand with god and for the things of god sometimes we will go through we will face the pain of what we stand for but guess what the lord amen will crown your position he will he will you know he, he he will reward you amen for truth and righteousness that's daniel in babylon so to say that amen you're in government amen uh, 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 you will just you know give in to the lies of the enemy no some you have to stand for the truth daniel stood for the truth esther stood for the truth yes deborah stood for the truth amen yes david stood for the truth Samuel stood for the truth. All of the people we read about in the in the scripture who who served, amen, in one capacity of the other in the government, amen, they stood for truth. Sometimes you have to stand for truth. You must let people know what you stand for. People must people must be able to yes define you from the afar. They say, other person, no, no, you cannot take this one to her. Uh, you cannot take this one to him. He will not accept. They should know. They should know what you stand for. That's what we're asking for. That's what we're seeking for in government. That's we want men and women who will say, no, I'm standing for truth. 
I'm standing for what is right. If we cannot do that, we have no nation. We have no nation. We have no nation because the enemy is doing everything to make sure that it corrupts and it puts corrupt people, yes, in the M of a face. I mean, look at I mean, look at how massive, how huge this nation is. One department. One department. Escom, the elect, uh, you know, the, uh, 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 the 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 supplier of electricity has continued to destroy the entire e- economy of the, of a nation. Come on. That, what are we talking about? It's been there for decades. As it is in South Africa, the same is in Nigeria, a nation that produces crude oil. You find people, amen, queuing at the gas station, queuing, you know, into almost miles just to get. How does that work? You produce, you your you're a fuel, you, you know, your your crude oil, you know, producer. Thank God for the few people that are coming up with refinery. But we're talking about almost 200 million people. How many, how many, how many refinery can Dangote and the rest of them produce? But thank God, at least we have people doing that. What am I saying? God is saying we need to pray for our leaders. The same we see in Congo. One of the most rich, rare estates in the world, Congo. But look at poverty in that region. Zimbabwe the same. Rich in capital, but also rich in mineral. Human capital, wealthy. But look at what is going on. To the point that Zimbabwe's in South Africa are being pushed around like dogs. We don't want them. You must get rid of them. But these are some of the most, you know, wealthiest, you know, humans in the earth. Talk about in terms of knowledge. How? How did we get to this level? Bad leadership. Bad governance. Bad policies. And we can no longer use the past to continue, amen, Yes, to accommodate ungodliness in our region. It's time for a change because indeed the seasons have changed, friends. The seasons have changed. When seasons change, we change. <laughs> now it's winter. You can see me. I've got about three clothes. <laughs> you've got this one, you've got the other one, and you've got your inner one. Because if you don't change with the season, you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to freeze to death in winter. You want to dress like as if you're in summer. You're going to freeze to death no matter who you are. We have to know how to be prepared for a new day. We began this prayer this morning. Amen? When the when when the magis heard, when they saw the star, they knew something have shifted. They knew uh, a king today has been born. Yes. And they took their journey. They made their trip. When the season changed, we must also, hallelujah, change in accordance to the guidance of the Spirit. Let God guide us. Let God lead us. Let God instruct, instruct us. Let the Spirit of God continue to develop us to be men and women positioned on the world. Don't give yourself a rest and don't give him rest. Friends, continue to pray. Continue to pray. You may not see, amen, any any cloud forming now. You may not hear, amen, any sound. You may not hear any, any, you know, any thunder. But continue to pray. Don't stop praying. Bible says men always ought to pray and not to faint. Let's continue, hallelujah, to put on, yes, the full armor of God. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to seek the heart of God, the mind of God. Let's continue to proclaim, hallelujah, the counsel cell of God over our life over our home family our community most of our city and our nation and those in leadership let's pray let's pray for them let's ask the Lord to move on their behalf let's ask that the Lord amen will touch their heart will touch their lives will touch their home let's ask the Lord amen to give them a heart of flesh rather than a heart of stone let's ask the Lord to give them a heart of flesh rather than a heart of stone it is our ministry 
to intercede. Father, we honor you once again. Praise be unto you, Lamb of God. Thank you once again for directing our steps, guiding our path in the place of this glorious ascended ministry. Christ seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Yes, this morning we declare in the name of Jesus that we will continue to agree with, yes, the position of Christ. We will continue, yes, to proclaim and to declare that Christ's love, Christ's mercy, Christ's word, Christ's will will find inroad and expression in our life. We thank you this morning for your will. We thank you, Lord, this morning for your counsel. We thank you for answering our prayer. We will never be the same again. We thank you for a change that is taking place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for every man, every woman that have joined us this morning to pray pray yes to position themselves in that order of kingdom advancement we thank you spirit of god we bless you lord we glorify your name that you oh god have given to us yes the nation and we receive it oh god as our inheritance we pray this morning may your glory cover the earth may the knowledge of your glory cover the earth even as the water covers the sea for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever we say amen thank you father in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah once again i want to appreciate everyone this morning thank you my dear uh, uh, sisters for joining to pray this morning wherever you are i pray that the lord will continue to strengthen you and grace you amen and enrich you in his mercy in his love i pray that his good hand will continue to rest upon you i pray that the lord will direct your step this morning yes guide you to the place yes of of divine favor i pray the glory of god will be made manifest in your life that when people see you they will see the hand of god i pray you will Will walk into yes blessing and favor today i pray the inheritance of god for your life you will you will receive continue to pray continue to stand in the gap continue to seek the will of god and the counsels of god thank you for standing with me amen today makes it one week amen we've been stretching this prayer one week we want to thank god hallelujah yes for what the lord has has done I'm believing God, amen, that we are going to reap the fruit of this prayer, amen, in days to come. Thank you so much, Sister Priscilla. Thank you, really appreciate it, amen. I believe God for great things. I'm looking forward, amen, to uh, the, the, the results of this prayer, amen. Yes, remember what the Lord, you know, spoke to us yesterday. When we pray, we must also be in anticipation, amen. Not anxious, but we must be, amen, in that state of anticipation. We want to see the fulfillment. We want to see the manifestation. We, we, we must see hallelujah where our prayer is making change and effects hallelujah we we have to praise god so thank you so we can also give a testimony well we prayed about that see the result amen sometimes the result of our prayer is standing before us but we cannot see because you know we are not anticipating we are not aligned amen so thank you everyone this morning really appreciate it god bless you so very much please continue to pray for me continue to pray for the project amen that god will supply Amen. That this is not going to be an abandoned, abandoned project. The devil is a liar. You know, sometimes he whispers that word. He say, this is going to be an abandoned project. You're not going to finish it. But not, I know he's a liar. He has always been the father of all liars. Amen. So I believe God for great things. We we'll continue to speak positively and continue to see, yes, the result. We will eat the fruit of our lives. Have yourself a wonderful day. Love you all. Have yourself a wonderful, a splendid day. God bless you. We'll see you by God's grace hopefully tomorrow again. Bye-bye.